Hello Big Macs and welcome back to another reaction video. So yes Big Macs, today I'm back reacting to a group that I've already reacted to because a lot of you guys have been telling me that I need to go back and check out all of their new stuff and today I'm back with some more Der Grey. Or is it, I think, is it Dear Grey? It might be Dear Grey. Is it I th I'm gonna say Dear Andre. I think that's what it actually is, and I just mispronounced it a lot. I really don't know. But a lot of you Big Macs, after I reacted to them, have told me to go back, check out all their new stuff, much like I did with the Gazette, and as well with uh, Miyavi. A lot of you guys told me to go back, react to some Dear Andre, and I am all for this. I haven't really been listening to them too, too much since I first made rea my reaction video to them, but I really loved just their style and how more dark it was and just how it was just very well done all their videos as well as their music was pretty goddamn good as well. But I haven't listened to them too much just because I've been getting bombarded with so much music and I figured that this would just be the perfect excuse for me to now have a chance to go back, check out some of their newer stuff as well get them back in my life. Now, normally this is when I go and do all the information on them, but I've already done that. If you wanted to see my first video on them, you can do so. I don't know why I keep doing this. In every video, whenever I talk about a past video, I do this. I never, nothing goes here. It's just this hand. So if you wanted to, I'm sure that you would be able to find it as well. Now, since I've already made my initial reaction video to them, I figured, yes, I just stumbled a shit ton of words there. I just figured, that we'd just go on to the music and cut all the stuff in between and let's just get into the music. So the first song that is up is one that I believe is their new song and it's one that a lot of you guys have been telling me rea to react to and I've been seeing a lot recently which has been making me want to get back into I think it's Dear Andre and I believe the song is called Ningan Wu Kaburu. I tried. But that is the song that a lot of you guys have been telling me to go back and react to because you've been saying that it is very different from I guess more of the stuff that I've heard from them when I first reacted to them so this makes me excited to hear what it's gonna sound like and where they've kind of come and I just want to get them back in my life so let's just do that right now so here we go here is Dear Andre with Ningen Wu Kaburu I'm so sorry oh damn so this promotional video is subject to partial restrictions of its content. The uncensored version is now, oh damn. So I'm already expecting this video to be intense as always, but I expect nothing else from Dear Andre. A deep synth. Ooh. Ooh. That fill. I'm already liking these drums. Ooh, I'm turning this up, hold on. This isn't fair, this should not be this quiet. Ooh. Yes. Whoa, that hair, man. Ooh. I'm liking this dark tone. How does he pull that off? If I did that, it would not look that good. Ooh. This kind of has like a the Gazette vibe to it, and I really like it. Those guitars are so heavy. Like, listen to that. Ooh. Oh, well, what's happening to... Oh, they're eating this man. I'm guessing that's why it's censored. This is awesome. I mean, not what's happening to this guy. That sucks for you. I'm just enjoying the music. I love this. Oh, you poor... Poor person, you're gonna get eaten. That high note there. As crazy as this video is, it's actually very well shot. I'm kind of intrigued to see the, the uncensored version. I'm really liking this song though. This video is very weird, which is kind of what I was expecting, but I like this song. Like, those guitar tones are so dirty. Ooh! There's a good night dynamics here, bring it down. I like this little, like, dun dun dun. Oh, what? You can't end it on that! What? 
What? That was like some Stranger Things shit. <laughs> you can't end it there. Oh, I'm on. I'm. I'm so on. I'm. I'm on the hook. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. I am just so intrigued by where this video was going. Like this is something that I learned about Deer on Grey after my first video was when I was asking what the video was about. They actually have a lot of context in their videos, but it's again more kind of abstract and you have to think about it and kind of know some things to understand what's happening. So I'm sure many of you guys will be able to tell me exactly what this video was about because me being me, I'm not entirely sure what the video was about. Also, I was very distracted by the song because that was very well done and I, I want to hear some more of Duran Grey because I'm liking what I'm hearing so far. Like, those guitar tones were dirty as hell. I like how the drums at times had a very like raw sound to them but then also had like the more, you know sound to them and then i'm also intrigued his voice is fucking impressive his screams are amazing i'm just more impressed at the fact that he's able to pull off that look because that look i don't think is one that a lot of people could pull off and he did it amazingly like if i did that people would be like ryan are you okay but he does it i'm like yeah that's just that's fucking awesome <laughs> but anyway i i want to hear more from Duran Gray because if this is what I've been missing out I am seriously disappointed in past Ryan yet again <laughs> so the next song some of you guys have asked me it's again going back to their older stuff and I believe the song is called Saku I'm intrigued to go back again and hear what their older sound sounded like now that I just heard more of their newer sound and again just looking at this thumbnail I'm expecting this video to be very intense but I expect nothing less from Dear on Grey at this point. Like, I just, I don't know what it is. I love, I love their creepiness of their videos. It is just, it's so well done. And again, it has like an underlying message. Like there's a meaning behind all. It's not just like, oh, let's do this to be blah, blah, blah. There's like actual meaning behind all of it as well, which is something that I like as well. But I'm intrigued to hear this again. So let's go back, react to some Dear on Grey with their song. Saku. Well, this already looks like it's going to be a horror movie. Oh, this looks like some shit. Some shit's happening. Ooh. This, I just, you need to do this. Oh, this brings me back to the days, man. You just need to head, like, your head just needs this. I love this creepy vibe of this song. I love this. <laughs> yes. I love this part. They're like that high pitched voice in there too. He has such a good voice too. I mean, it sucks that all these people are dying, but like, do you hear this? Like, I just need to join them in on doing this. How did I miss this the first time reacting to them? I like the change up too, how it goes from like very, like, to this. I like that. Don't poke dead bodies with sticks. Are you, is he wearing grills too? He can pull off like any style and make it look cool. Like, that's, that's a talent in itself. I love the breaks of just this. Get that China <laughs> symbol. <laughs> oh, that's it? No. Oh, my God. I love that. How the fuck did I miss that the first time reacting to Dear on Grey? That was the right amount of headbanging in that. Like, it was a good where it wasn't just that the entire way through. They, like, broke it up as to where that happened. You just had to join in. Like, you would had that, and then you had the chorus, which was obviously a bit more, like, singing a bit softer than the rest of the song. And then they're like, and back into it. Like, that, it was just a very, very, a very nice... It's like... Why did I turn into Borat for that? <laughs> but damn it, I'm actually, I'm so glad that so many of you keep telling me to go back and react to these bands that like I've just gone for a while without listening to for some reason. Like first it was the Gazette. They had that, they like completely 
it just got so much more intense and I'm so glad that you guys told me about that and then it was the same with Miyavi where you're like hey you listen to all of his newer stuff but you need to go back and listen to his older stuff because you need to hear how different all that was and how he's just changed so much and now I'm glad that you guys are telling me about Dear On Grey again because that new song was very very impressive this old song that I somehow missed again impressive and I just I'm going to actually I was only planning on doing these two I'm gonna find a third one because I need I need it <laughs> and again I'm much impressed by their videos because again even though they are creepy and a bit disturbing to some it's just they it's different and I love different and I love people who aren't afraid of doing stuff like this and aren't afraid of you know like it's just so well done and then again as I was saying he just pulls off every style like if I were to look the way that he did people would be like I'm sorry sir what is wrong with you but he does it and I'm like it's like fucking amazing and to some of you who may be wondering that I don't really look like the person who kind of enjoys stuff like this it's just so you know I grew up literally in childhood listening to Cradle of Filth and watching their music videos so like this is something that I'm used to I mean that if you know Cradle of Filth and you know their music videos this is like this is like nothing <laughs> so I think that's how I've kind of gotten used to like the more intenseness there's a hair floating so I think that it's just like this is just like n nothing to me it's like normal and I I love it so much and I don't get why so many people just get so turned off by it. whatever I'm getting this is this is a entirely different video of me talking about this right now let's get back into Dear Andre with the next song I'm I'm just ready for it I'm so glad to have them back in my life <laughs> so for the next song I just figured this out right now they have a song called Kudo that is a continuation um, from Saku so I want to hear that too and again it's gonna I just very intrigued by this and I, after that last song I want to see if this is gonna be like another because we we've just gotten a few different sides of them just in these two songs so I want to hear what this next song is gonna be and then I I'm I'm back on this dear on gray train again so I'm just ready so here we go, Big Max. Here's Dear on Grey with Ku Kudu. Kudu. Hopefully. So I'm guessing this boy murdered his family is what I'm getting from this video. But this vibe already looks way different. Ooh, why is this so quiet? Again, a different side. I like how the that like organ kind of has that reverse sound into it as well. Ooh. That was, yes. that was a nice like <laughs> into the song <laughs> oh my god I'm loving the softer side too that bass damn this is so different from the other two songs equally as impressive though this kind of has like a buck tick vibe I love I love this Again, just shows how talented they are. Is that like, I don't think a lot of bands who have the sound, I'll, we'll talk about this after. <laughs> oh, I love this. I'm hoping that there's gonna be a fucking killer solo in this song. How did I miss this too? Thank you, oh, those high notes. I was about to thank you Big Max for telling me about them again. And I love that transition. Oh my god. This it was I was not expecting this and that makes it that much more impressive to me. Oh. Yes. Oh, I love how like distorty those screams are. Please one more time. Oh. No. I want to hear that part again. Like this is so good and it's so different from the other two. I just love it so much for that. Like this, the bass in the song is so impressive. I love that guitar too. Just like wow, wow, wow. Still this transition, man. Oh, is it done? Fuck, it's done. Oh my god. <laughs> Seriously, just 
Thank you, Big Max. I'm not even talking into the microphone at this point. <laughs> but seriously, just thank you guys for telling me to go back and react to Duran Gray. Because those three songs, they're so impressive. Especially this last one, because this was a sound that I was not expecting, especially after hearing all the other songs that I have heard from Duran Gray before. And as I was about to say before I cut myself off, because I wanted to listen to the song, was this is something that not a lot of bands who, if you were to just listen to those first two songs that they played, not a lot of bands that have that sound go and do a song like this, which is what kind of makes me respect them a bit more, or bands that do this a bit more, is that they're like, yeah, we can go fucking crazy and ham just like anyone else who's doing this, but we can also do this softer side. It, it's like, um, it's like Lynch with their song Sorrow how I was expecting it to be very intense and then I got this nice softer side to them and it was very well done as well. It's the same thing here with Deron Gray. It was something that I wasn't expecting but they did it and they did it perfectly. Like it was just so well done and it also incorporated a bit of like electronic transitions in there too so it was just such a nice touch and it just makes me like them even more and I'm just very impressed and very happy to have them back in my life. And I still don't know how Pastrine missed these songs. You had, you had the chance and you fucked it up. But we already know Pastrine's an idiot, so we don't, we don't need to dwell on that. But I'm just, I honestly, especially this last song, am very impressed with everything that I heard. I'm very glad to have them back in my life and seriously just once again thank you Big Mac so so much for telling me to go back and make a part two for reacting to Duran Gray because this this was needed. <laughs> so yes Big Macs there you have it that was me getting Duran Gray or Dear Andre back into my life and it was very very much needed because these past songs were very impressive and I'm just like you had intenseness intenseness with a bit soft and then this and it was very well done and I'm just amazed this is another reason why I like bands like this because it makes me interested to go and hear other songs that they have because I know since just hearing these three different songs and each one of them had a different style to it it makes me excited to hear what they're going to have next because I don't know what they're going to sound like. <laughs> so this is just yes. But what did you Big Macs think? I know a lot of you guys already know about Dear on Grey, but if you've never heard of them before, let me know what you Big Macs thought in the comments down below. And as always, if you guys did enjoy this video, I'd love it if you click that thumbs up button down below. And if you Big Macs are not subscribed to this channel, you can do so by clicking that subscribe button down below as well. I put out new videos every Wednesday, Friday, Monday, and sometimes an extra video in there as well. So make sure you subscribe by clicking that button down below. And you can also click on that bell down there and that will notify you when I upload a new video. So you never miss one from this just so happy to have Dear on Grey back in his life face. And he pulls off every style. It's just not fair. <laughs> and as always, Big Max, I would just like to take this time just to thank you guys for all the love and support that you give me on this channel on the daily. Like, seriously, it is just crazy the amount of support that you Big Max give me and the amount of love and bands that you guys share with me is just seriously amazing to me. And I honestly feel like I don't say it as much as I should is just seriously thank you so so much i mean whether you big Macs have just been watching my videos you like them you comment on them you share them with your friends even if you dislike every once in a while just seriously thank you so so much for interacting with the video that i made like seriously none of this would even be remotely possible without all of you guys so seriously just once again thank you and as always big Macs, today's biggest mac is going to go to starlight girl 96 over here on twitter Yes, recently Starlight, for some reason that just reminds me of Pinocchio. And now I really want to watch Pinocchio, which is like <laughs> the complete opposite of what I've just seen. But your name reminds me of that and I, I think I know what I'm doing tonight after I find out some more about Duran Gray. <laughs> recently Starlight over here on Twitter has just followed me and seriously just been very active over on Twitter, liking, retweeting, and just replying, doing all the good Twittery things that you can do over on Twitter they have done so seriously just thank you so so much for all that love over on twitter you are today's biggest mac so big max make sure you go over into starlight's twitter over here go give them a follow like a bunch of their tweets and just give them as much love and support over on twitter as they have been giving me and seriously once again starlight just thank you for all that love and support over on twitter and once again you are today's biggest mac but anyway big max i need to go figure out 
I because I have so much to go and catch up on on Deer on Grey right now that Pastor Ryan has just forgotten about. So I need to go and do all of that, and I need to go and catch up on all of that. So I have a lot to do. I don't know if I'm ready for it, but I I need to do it. <laughs> and also, Big Mass, if you guys did not know, I also have Patreon and merch. Both the links to all of those will be in the description down below. So if you wanted to support what I'm doing on this channel, you can go click my Patreon, figure out all of that and how you can do that. There are some rewards where you can view videos a day early as well. So if you wanted to go and check that out, the link will be in the description as well. I have merch, bunch of different designs, bunch of different colors. I'm very shitty at selling these things. So if you wanted to go and check out all of that, again, the link will be in the description down below. And if you wanted to buy something, that would be pretty cool. But as always, please make sure to take care of yourself first. But once again, Big Macs, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. And I will see you next time. Bye.